guys as sophomores. Fantastic job. Round of applause to all of you because not only for my two classes that I got to see creating poetry and just um, working really hard to make it a work of art, right? Um, but just all of you, as I was walking through the halls, whether it be AIM or class times, and you guys are practicing your poems in the halls, or the classrooms that I got to step in to judge for, um, what you guys did the last week and a half to two weeks was awesome. So round of applause to you guys, all of you. <laughs> finalists out here. Um, first and foremost, I'm nervous too, right? I have my poem. I told many of my sophomores that I can't do it, Mrs. Sanders. No, I have to. You have to, okay? You can do it. Um, yes, yeah, it's not wrapping right, but it's something that's awesome, and you'll be very proud of yourself after you did it, okay? You guys have made it this far. The seats that you're in right now, um, okay, gentlemen and ladies and gentlemen over here, I need you to be quiet, okay? We want to be a good audience for for our poets when they come up. Um, but you guys have worked really hard. The seats that you're sitting in right now, you guys have earned, okay? And I don't think that that's sometimes something that we think about when you move into a competition like this. It's just the nerves and having to present in front of your class. Um, but congratulations to you guys. And when you're up here, remember to have fun. This is your artwork. Um, and just let the passion come through that you guys have written about, okay? So congrats to you guys, and uh, I look forward to hearing your poems. Now for my poem, okay? Um, this came about, I was not planning on writing a poem. As teachers, we don't necessarily have the time to sit down and write poetry. But when we first started writing my second hour class, um, some students in there said, Mrs. Sanders, it's completely impossible that I can write anything down. I'm not going to have a poem. And they said, you will. They said, it's impossible. You do one. And I said, OK, deal. You start writing, and I'll start writing. Let me know when you need your help. Or let me know when you need my help. And so um, this poem came from being able to write alongside my classes. So um, no further ado, my poem is entitled A Mother's Thoughts. Minutes old, unexpectant of life. Newborn eyes reveal amazement and wonder and unforeseen future. Fear, joy, anxiety, and elation. I ask myself, can I do this? And there's definite hesitation. Holding once more an infant hours old, eyes heavy with sleep, a gentle hum to be heard. Baby girl, please be patient. You see this thing about parenting to daddy and I is so new. My mind is reeling of dreams and of goals and all of which my baby girl will be told. Tomorrow we'll leave no nurses or doctors to follow, overwhelming in the least. But daddy says, we've got this. All anxiety should be ceased. Many bedtimes have happened since your arrival to home. Once a baby, now toddler, with a mind of your own. A new limb I've acquired, and new shadows appeared. The cuddles required, tiny kisses desired. Rocking to sleep gently in the presence of the moon, gazing upon your face, drifting softly to sleep in the safety of my warm embrace. But in this sweet moment, with you unaware of my thoughts, Fears creep in the night, and fright comes into sight. What will be of your future? What will be your pursuit? A lawyer or doctor? Or maybe one like me? Only time can tell what your future will be. A career is important, no doubt in my mind, but what weighs on my heart tonight was no choice of mine. A world where stories lose more light every day, news reports of shootings, only feet from where children play. Voices silenced, the trusted betray, one example, take a look at the NCAA. My hope for you, baby, never be held back in what you have to say. Stand firm in your thoughts and even firmer in beliefs. Don't back down. And when something's not right, if there's a passion in you, sweetheart, don't be afraid to put up a fight. And remember, my dear, and you'll hear this forever. You matter a lot. Don't let anyone take that away from you whatsoever. Always keep your chin high, see the horizon in the distance, never forget how to try, and don't be afraid to ask for assistance. Now I realize you're young, and tomorrow this won't matter. The world is so new to you, so much to discover. So as the day breaks and tomorrow's on the prowl, we'll continue exploring, creating adventures for now. But before I am done, or off my soapbox I leave, there is one more thing I want to leave you with this eve. Please know, baby girl, by your side I will stand to remind you just all that you are. 
You are strong, you are loved, you are beautiful too, and never surrender, just be happy being you. Now close your eyes, gently to sleep. This world cannot touch you, and tomorrow's full of promise. There is so much you can do. Just never forget, girly, that mama will always love you.